with you. You traded FP. I don't trade news. Me, I just analyze if news wanna go my direction, it goes my direction. But most of the time, it goes my direction. I'm not a person of ah. There's news coming now. This for amateurs. That's for amateurs. Ah, there's news. It's coming. Ah, that's what I know. Ah, this one. He's not used to making money. Beginner. Getting excited over news. Just analyze. News will go your way. That's when you know your story. That's when you know your story. Don't get too excited about news. All those stuff is overrated. You find that the news will move, let's say, 70 peeps in a day. Next week, Monday or Tuesday, there's no news. Market move 100 peeps. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? It's overrated. You find that the day when the market has news, it consolidates the whole day. And then when news come, it moves the peeps it was supposed to move that day. That's my POV. Don't cry about it. Just analyze the charts technically your way. And then the news will move your way if it has to move your way. And then just to put your stop loss and relax. And NF NFP comes or whatever news, interest rate decision, all this type of news come. It will go your way. Just do it technical. The rest will follow. You make money. Because the thing of waiting for news, yeah. news must follow me. I can't be a slave of news. News must be, you know, my slave. I analyze, it moves where I want to. Simple as that. You must have control. Do you understand? You must have power in your mindset that no. I'm not going to be scared of news or whatsoever. Nah, just analyze, put your stop loss. Simple, simple. Keep, keep your trading style simple. Don't be putting indicators and all those complicated stuff. Don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to yourself. I can't drive. I don't have a car. I can't drive. I swear to God, I can buy one every month. So, yeah. I can't drive. I feel like, I don't know, maybe it's me alone, but I feel like driving is not for me. I don't know. Like, I've once practiced how to drive, and I was like, nah. And I was like, nah, this is not for me. Uh -uh. It's like I'll be forcing myself. And I hardly travel, so I don't really need it. I don't know, man. Words of motivation for a beginner trader. Well, how hungry are you to make it? My motivation for you is that, as a beginner, I'll say, get off social media and focus on that strategy you're working on, right? So it's like that. Get off social media because social media is going to bring you a lot of um, what you call this waste of time basically. So instead of ha having a lot of time scrolling reels and all that, spend it that two hours. Actually, people don't spend two hours on social media, they spend more than that in a day. So that hours you're spending on social media, go out there and practice your craft, practice trading or whatsoever. And then once you become the best in it, like in yourself, once you see improvement in yourself, and then you can scroll social media while trading because in trading now you know what you're doing. Right? So, simple as that. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Is the market moving crazy because of NFP? But it's not NFP yet, so it's. It's just how the market is supposed to move. It will move crazy now and then because of the influence of what's happening around the world. Right? So, yeah. So, NFP is just for hype. It's just too much hype. 
it's just too much hype, man. I mean, like, market will move more than, like, I want you to do this research for yourself, man. Yeah? Since people are so hyped about NFP, do this research if you are a trader, right? Go to the days where there was NFP, right? Go to the days where there was NFP, right? And then measure the pips that whole day moved, right? Measure the pips of that whole day. And then after that, take it to other days as well. You'll realize that the market just moves the same pips. When there's news, it just consolidates that whole day. And then that one big candle of the news, it will make money more like quicker. It's just like that. Hey brother, hey brother, how's it? So y'all, and I should, wait, I'm just reading here. In your mentorship, you share trading setups or ideas. I said, I share everything. Setups results how the pay played out yeah do all of that so yeah especially when was it was it yesterday ah. yesterday ah yesterday <laughs> got few trades one is the 53 56 or 53 in total risk ratio reward that means whatever I was risking, it went times 53. Meaning I normally risk 1%. So, times 53. I risk less to make more. Because I know what I'm doing. Because I know what I'm doing. I know where the market will turn exactly. And then my stop loss will be very tight. It won't get hit. I don't know why people are so scared of stop losses and spreads. I feel like some people don't understand that if you trade extremely, like extreme analysis like I do, right, you can have a two pip stop loss, right? You can have a three pip stop loss. You can have a five pip stop loss, right? That's when you do extreme analysis, meaning you'll be using seconds time frame as well. And on top of having those small pips, you must calculate your spreads on how big is it. So I use raw spread. So if my spread is saying, let's say one pip, it's ranging around, I mean not one pip, sorry, it's ranging around one, two, three. I know that in terms of the bid and the ask price, that's ranging between 0, 0,1 pipet and 0, 0,3 pipet. So, I mean, like, it's not going to kick me out. The market is not going to kick me out at all. Especially if I've already measured where the market is going to turn and how many pips it's going to turn. So some people are like, ah, this is impossible. Impossible is you. That's all I can say. So I make the impossible possible. Easy as that. So, you must just learn as a trader. You must just learn and believe that some stuff are possible if you just learn. Right. Not every strategy out there has like a, let me show you this trade. I had a three pip stop loss and it shut down one is two. Let me show you. Yes. Like it shut down heavy. One is to 20. 61 pips. I don't know this is any no I don't still showing me. There. Tight. There. Three pips stop loss. Twenty. What is to twenty? So there, it means whatever I was risking, if it's a thousand rand that I was risking, I made 20k. If I was risking, because it went times 20, my direction. If I was risking 500 rand, it went 20 times more my direction. If I was risking 100 rand, it went 20 times more my direction. Right? As long as whatever I was risking is my 1% or your 1%. 
right? Or 0.5%, right? So that's the risk I use. I use 1% per trade or 0.5% per trade, right? So that allows me, in order for me to blow my account, it must take me 100 trades, which is impossible for me to blow an account. 100 trades, not gonna happen. So yeah, easy as that. So always risk less to make more. You need to study the game. Once you study the game, you know what you do. So yeah, guys, yeah, guys. How long can a beginner make profits in trading? That's a good question. It all depends on your work ethic. Because remember, your work ethic won't be the same as another trader else's work ethic, right? Let's say you're a trader and you are not studying. All you do is just sit at home. So that trader, you realize that that person has a lot of time to focus on trading. So that person, even if he or she is a beginner, that person has a high chance of just becoming, let's say, profitable quicker if they apply the right rules and everything, right? Compared to you coming from school and then you have to focus on trading, right? So it all has to do with time and mindset. It, there's no time of how long. It all depends on you, right? There's no measurement of, ah, it took me one month to become a successful trader. I, some it takes five, some it takes a year. It depends what they were doing. Some along the way they stop. They don't know why they stop. So you never, you can't measure how long a beginner can be successful or start being profitable or start seeing profits because it all depends on your work ethic. I can't measure your work ethic. Only you can measure your own work ethic, right? So it's impossible for me to say, ah, it takes one month. What if a person becomes a trader in one month and then they stop? Can you see, you can't measure that. And then they get busy with other stuff. Can you see? So it's like that. For me, to see the light, like in trading, when I was learning myself, it took me a month, right? So in that month, I had a, like I had a whole timetable when it comes to trading. I'll come back from school, spend time on like, for like two hours or three hours in terms of my studies and everything. And then after that, I'll focus on trading. I don't wanna go outside, sit in a corner, focus on trading. And then spend a whole lot of time looking at the foundation of trading, basics of trading. And then after basics, there's nothing else other than trading, the strategy that you learn in practice. And then after that, I was a fundamental trader back then. Right? And then after that, mastered fundamentals. And then I was like, ah, this is boring. I have to wait for news in order to trade. Let me try technicals. Then I got into technicals, studied it, practice. Can you see? So even myself with technicals, I don't know how long it took me to become successful in it because I was just hungry for success. When you're hungry for success, you don't calculate, okay, today's day five of me being hungry for success or on the way to success. You don't do that. My POV. You just go out there all in and learn or trade or whatsoever, whatever you're doing, you just go all in. But you just go all in simple as that do i do account management no i don't trade for people i don't trade for people i don't have time to trade 10 runs of people and another thing about trading yeah? actually not trading this thing of people think it's also trading sending your money to someone for them to trade for you is not trading they're just gonna run away with your money. Simple as that. Because they act like traders, but they're not. So that's why trading is full of, they say, ah, it's full, of, it's full of scammers. When I ask this person, how did you get scammed? Ah, I sent this person a thousand rand. He said he's gonna come back as 4K. What the hell? Why don't that person take his or her thousand rand and take it to, and turn it to 4K? So it's here like that. Swing trader or scalper, I'm both, but mostly a day trader. 
like in and out within a day. I'll see the market tomorrow. So that's me. But I know the main direction of where it's going. For example, if the market is going to be a long-term sell, it's not going to just go down long-term. It's going to have ups and downs. Those ups and downs are giving buying, sell opportunity, buying opportunities and sell opportunities. So you find out that I'll be selling all the way down, but also getting those short-term buys. Because when the market moves down, it moves up as well. But main direction is down. So you can be both. So yeah. So you mean it's impossible to take one K to four K? No, listening is a skill, black child. <laughs> listening is a skill. I said people would DM let's say they DM message you. And then they say, send 1,000 red, it will be turned into 4,000 red. They're lying, they're not going to do that. They just want your money. And then they're going to tell you, hey, your, your 1,000 red, it's now 50K. The things went well. In order for you to receive this 50K, something blocked, what, 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 all those lies or whatever block, and then send 10K to get your 50k then you send 10k in total you send 11k then they block you they were not even trading they just wanted your money because you know trading is a way of making quick money in a way if you know your story in order to make it in trading another thing is you get a mentor who is dealt with all the stress and all that and who's going to simplify things for you because if you're going to try to work around things yourself it might take longer for you to become successful and another thing that can make you take become successful longer is if you join a lot of groups a lot of signal groups free courses where they're sharing a lot of courses they're sharing a lot of strategies that means you're not going to be consistent because you're going to keep using this, use that. You don't even know what works for you. So basically, you just, you're more like a, a varsity student who's jumping, who's jumping around different courses. They never graduate, right? Because they're jumping. I want to do law. They do law. Uh -uh. Law is becoming difficult. I want to do engineering. Do engineering. Uh -uh. I don't like this one. Let me do... They're not, they're not graduating yet. Years are going. They're not graduating. So it's the same thing when traders jump from one strategy and then try to mix other strategies with another. You're not going to become successful yet. <laughs> Do you understand? You're basically just confusing yourself with a lot of things. So it's similar to the same example that I'm making for you. So, uh, so you have offices in big dread it's in big trend big trend here's a boardroom in front of me where i teach so yeah can you say you are rich or affording i mean i'm affording what is rich how much is rich that's the question there's no answer for it how much is rich there's no answer for it because rich can be you know when you come from nothing whatever amount is in your bank that means you've made it because you had nothing you come from nothing so whatever you have it's profit do you see it so that's a nice thing about how can i say that's a nice thing about coming from nothing. Every amount that you see right now is profits from your growth, from, you know. So there are some people who can call themselves rich because they have 30K, because they never had 30K, uh, 30K in their 
bank account. There are some people who are born with millions, but they don't feel rich. That's why I'm saying you can't measure that, basically. In my words, you can't measure it. Some people are, in our eyes, some people are born rich, according to us. But to them, they feel like, nah, it's nothing. He doesn't feel rich or she doesn't feel rich. So, you understand? Is the market going to crash anytime soon? Definitely. Dollar is going to crash very hard. Chinese, Russia, Saudi Arabia. Almost a lot of countries are turning against the dollar. So it means they know something that we don't know. But now we know that the market is going to crash. So they don't want their investments to crash as well. So think about it. So I think South Africa needs to also changed because they are under bricks so i feel like automatically they're gonna stop as well so we're gonna stop being puppets of the united states so yeah in china all that brazil russia finally some freedom it's gonna be a lot of money that's gonna be made that's all i can say did you see the big job coming Wait, I don't understand the question. Did you see the big drop coming on Nasdaq? Did I see it or do I see it coming? Yeah, because the United States, I feel like they, they purposely making themselves crash, I can say, because they've been printing so much money. Then they're now in a deep debt, like a trillion dollar debt. And some banks are running out of cash, like paper cash. So you'll see maybe soon in South Africa they'll say, hey, FNP no longer has cash. And then that means we are moving slowly into the digital world of not having cash and everything is just in transactions. So that means Bitcoin, once that happens, Bitcoin is going to skyrocket as well. So yeah, it's like that. How long did it take you to become profitable? I don't know. I'll be honest. I'm not going to be that trader who's going to be like, ah, it took me two days. Nah, I don't know. I was hungry for, all I can say is, I was hungry for success. I was putting in work every day. I was not looking at the time. That's me. I was not looking at the time of okay today is day two of me becoming successful or on the road to become successful i was just putting in work and then boom yeah and things are working out shopping all those type of things that i always wanted are happening so yeah man and then i realized okay i need to keep it safe i need to play it safe don't do too much to impress people you can do then there for yourself, myself, so honestly speaking, I don't count. I didn't count. I did not count of how many days or how long. But I remember one thing, my first trade was a successful trade. That's what I remember. My first trade was a successful trade. I made 400, from 400 NS fast money, Funded 400 rand and then I made 1.8 between 1.8 and 1.6 in 30 no 30 or 40 seconds. Back in the days I had a video of it, but I don't know where is it now. It was my first trade. I was trading NFP. I used to be a fundamental trader. So yeah. When are you coming back to Cape Town for physical classes in May? In May. I'm coming back. First week of May, I'm coming back. And I'm only taking students who exist. So just make sure you already exist before May. Because locations and other stuff where the classes will be, I only send to students. I don't send them to Instagram. I feel like if you set lim time limit of when you think you should succeed, you already lost, yes.